Hi, I'm going to show you how to leverage a Python package to analyze emojis and pipe this information over to Power BI. So what we want to end up with is some code that we can easily apply to different data sets and different environments such as the Python script editor in Power BI. And you can see from the screen here, we've brought in some emojis and so let's go through the code and I'll walk you through this and then we'll apply this to Power BI. So we're going to go to the top of the notebook. And the first thing we're going to do is bring in the libraries that we need. We're going to use pandas, which is our data manipulation library. We're going to use emoji, which is going to allow us to be able to identify and decode those emojis. So if you don't have this installed in your Python environment, you're going to need to install uh, these packages. You should have pandas. Emoji you will definitely need to install because it's not something in there by default. And next I'm using the Natural Language Toolkit. So we did a lot of uh, bringing in these packages in the Python 2 course. So you might want to check that out and we do a deeper level text analysis. So I'm bringing in word tokenize, which allows me to look at each individual word and evaluate it. From the collections library, I'm importing counter, which will allow me to count and do some frequency analysis on our emojis. So our data set is a Reddit Wall Street bet subreddit. And you can see from the data set here where I'm showing you the head. We have um, a title, a ID, and a body section. This is going to allow us to evaluate over all these different rows, but we need to eliminate the rows and create what we call a bag of words. And this line, I'm just getting rid of any of the body sections that don't have a comment. So that's, I'm using if we have an NA, and it's false, we want to keep that because we don't want any in a. Next, we are pre-processing this data set. You can see we're using that bag of words where we're not looking at each one of these individual, turning them into a collection of words. And maybe I can show you what that looks like. So I'm going to just create another line. So I'm going to escape in A. And then I'm just going to join Maybe let's join the first 10 because this is a very resource intensive action. So we, you can see we see the first 10 here and I'm going to join those to create a bag of words, but I don't want to save it as that variable because we have that variable saved here. So I'm going to run these two because they need to run the previous cell to make sure we can see it. And what this is going to do is take those 10 body sections and throw them all together. So you can see we have nothing but words now. And we can evaluate over those words. So the next section here would be to turn those words into tokens. And I'll show you um, what that looks like. You know, let's just call this A as a variable. And then I, I want to tokenize so i'm going to just say tokenize a and i'm going to run this and a equals so i need to assign that variable and i'm going to run this and now you can see we don't have those collections of where all those words are being put in a list indicated by these brackets and we can actually go over and evaluate each one of these words to see if it's an emoji so I'm going to eliminate this because we don't need it. And here what we're doing is going through that list and saying for each element in that list, if it's in our tokens and if it's an emoji, we want to just return emoji. So this is called list comprehension. And then what we do is we create a counter of those different emojis. And what we end up with is a data frame because I'm applying this data frame 
function and we ended up counting each one of those individual emojis that were in a col in a column and then in a row we turned that into a bag of words then we turned that into a list using tokenize and then we count it using counter so we counted each one of the items in that list and then we ended up with these emojis so you can see the diamonds and the rockets are the top. And we could probably sort this, but we don't really need to do that at the moment. Diamond hands was something that was popular phrase for Wall Street bets. And to the moon would be the emoji rocket. So after I have these lines, which we did here independently, we want to create a function. And a function is nothing more than repeatable code. So we created our bag of words, as we did before. We created our tokens. We searched for emojis. We counted those emojis. And then we created a table with the data frame. And now we can have those repeatable steps. And we can run this function over any of our existing columns. And this function has two arguments. We need data and we need a column. And actually we should change this to column because we want to make sure that's passed in and not just the body. So we are going to have this data and then this column. So we tell it the column with title. So let's open up Power BI. And what we want to do is go to transform data. We have a Wall Street bets data set here. We go to transform data. I'm just going to duplicate this. It's not necessary, but just to see a contrast. And what I'm going to do is go back over and get our code. So I'm going to get our code here. We definitely want to import these packages. We don't need pandas, but let's bring it in anyway because that's there by default. Then we want to go over to run Python script. So I'm going to go to transform, run Python script. And you can see data set holds the data variable. This was done with pandas. So we're bringing in the libraries that we need. We go back over to our Jupyter notebook and then we go get our function, which is here. We drop this in. This is going to be our main function. So we can document this with a hashtag. So this is our emoji function. So you can see that this data set is the, holds the input values. We're bringing in the um, libraries and then we're going to use our function. I'm just going to put a a little bit of space here just so I can see things. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that function. So what we're going to do is get this function here and we're going to use it. So remember we need to pass in the data. Our data is called data set. So data set holds the variable. So I'm going to call this data set. And then our column name is going to be title. So I'm going to call that title, but we need to save this as something. So I'm going to call this emoji underscore table equals. And we want to get rid of this because we're just calling the data set. And let's see if we have any errors by hitting OK. And we do. So there's... Oh, so you can see what happens is we forgot one of our quotations. So now let's run that. This may take a moment because it's going through all the text. So now you can see we returned a table, that emoji table. We're going to open it up.
So what we will end up with is this emoji table. And you can see that we have the count and the emoji, which is in Unicode. Now we're just going to apply It might take a moment. So now that both of our tables are run, we still have our extra table here, which has our emoji, and then it has our count. So we want to add both of those. And you can see you have your emojis there in the count, and I'm going to sort these. And that is how you can easily bring in emojis and of course it's probably better to turn this into a bar chart that looks a lot better i hope that helps so we're back in our jupyter notebook and i just wanted to give you a little bit of a bonus because sometimes you might not want to use it the actual emoji you might want to use the name of the emoji luckily this library the emoji library has a the emojis function and that will turn this emoji into a word so we're going to take some similar actions that we did previously and maybe what you can do as a take home is if you want you can add these to your actual function and i'll leave that in the notebook here for you to explore so what we did here is this is a data frame that you've brought into power bi then we've taken um, the emoji and we're doing list comprehension, which we're saying uh, for all the emojis in our emoji data frame, which is this, I want you to de-emoji that. And then I'm just saving it as this new column word. However, it doesn't always come so clean because emojis usually have um, some other things like uh, colons. So what I wanted to do is remove the colons. So after I've run this, I just did the same list comprehension, but I went through each one of our de-emojized emojis and removed the semicolon. And what we end up is with this. So now what you'll have is you'll actually have the emoji symbol and the definition, the word for it. So that's another step you can take in your analysis. Lastly, I wanted to just give you another method in which you can organize your emojis. In our NLTK, there's something called engrams. And engrams allows you to bring in combinations of words or emojis. So if someone was making a sentence with an emoji, we can use engrams to aggregate those combinations. So if you take a look at this, it looks similar to what we did before. We are counting the engrams and what we're doing is taking those emojis that we saved in a variable and I'm looking at all four together. So the four most common put together combinations. And we're looking at those items. You could create a data frame with this similar to what we did above. So it might be a good practice for you to bring these in and just see if they make a sentence, um, an emoji sentence. Obviously this doesn't, uh, but uh, sometime if you do other data sets, you can see things where people are writing I love you and all other things. So I hope this was uh, helpful for you guys. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like, it really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website. Plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.